Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. Are you someone who has just completed your class 12th and planning to join Computer Science Engineering in 2023? Then you are at the right place because in this video, I will be telling you about an engineering college or an institute which will be training you in the latest technologies like artificial intelligence and machine learning from your first year itself and the same way giving you an opportunity to get placed in your second year of engineering itself. That is quite incredible, but wait, there's more. If you didn't manage to get placed after your four years of engineering over there, then that particular institute will be refunding the entire fees, whatever you have paid for that particular college. And that is what makes this particular institute very much interesting guys. Moving forward, we'll be talking about this particular institute in a detailed fashion. So watch this video till the end so that you will never miss out any detail about this particular institute guys. So with that note, let's start this video. In India, every year around 15 lakh engineers graduate from their respective engineering colleges. But the fact that only 2 lakh students will get settled with the job in their hands is what makes the situation very pathetic guys. Roughly around 13.4% of the students are able to get placed in good companies and are able to get jobs after they complete their 4 years of engineering. According to an employability survey by Aspiring Minds, they claim that more than 95% of engineering students in India are unemployable. That is, they are not skilled enough in order to be hired from good companies. But still, when we just go through the brochures of the private colleges which are located in India, we see that they claim for around 80 to 90% of uh, the placements that they are providing to their students who study in their college. But before uh, assessing this 80 to 90 percentage of their placements data, let me tell you one fact guys. When we just go through the NIRF rankings of 2023, IIT Madras is one institute which stands in the first place and we know how prestigious it is. If you just go through sensibly for the placement scenario in IIT Madras for the last three to four years, the number lies somewhere between that 75 to 78 percent. That is 77 percent of the students are able to get placed even in an institution like IIT. Then how can you imagine a private college to provide around 80 to 90 percent placements ratio in their colleges? So that tells you how much of a false claim it is. And in reality, the ratio will be just somewhere lying between the 20 to 25 percent mark. And through this false claim, I'm pretty sure that they are playing with the minds of many students who join engineering with a lots of hopes in their minds. You guys surely know that lakhs of students invest their money and effort in order to join coaching institutes, thinking of getting a seat in the top NITs and IITs through entrance exams like JE. And if they won't manage to do that, the only thing they will do is to join into a private college wherein their parents will be ready to invest their hard earned money into them. So there they'll be paying lakhs of money and then what is the use of paying that hard earned money into that college when that college is not able to provide a good placement to that particular student. You should be able to get placed in such a manner after completing your four years of engineering such that at least it should be able to get the return of whatever you have invested for your engineering in two to three years maximum. And if that is only not happening, then there is no point of joining into such private universities. And you may have come across the Instagram ads and many big, big billboards of Amity University, LPU and SRM claiming that they are providing 100% placements. But if you just seep in and if you just analyze the reality, very few people are getting placed over there itself. And again, they are getting placed for around 3 lakh per annum or 4 lakh per annum that too in a different field. And this fact that only 15% students over there are placeable has been said by chairman of Infosys who is Sudha Murthy Madam. When the situation is so pathetic, Function Up School of Technology is providing you placements guarantee. So what is this guarantee? There is a simple promise. If you manage to get placed after your four years of engineering over there, then it is well and good. And if you won't, then there is a policy which will ensure that the entire fee which you have paid for this particular institute for your four years of engineering will be refunded. No job, no fee policy. This is a brilliant initiative taken by them and let us talk more about it in the later stage of the video. So make sure that you watch this video till the end guys. On the other hand, in a recent examination which was held for Group D uh, selection process in Uttar Pradesh, among 55 lakh applicants who had applied for that particular exam, more than 50% of the applicants were B.Tech graduates and that is what makes the situation more pathetic guys. 
and adding to that people are going into jobs which pay them around 2000 to 3000 even after completing their btech then what is the point of giving your heart and soul for this beautiful course called engineering for four years in your life something is really wrong and to talk about that is the main intention of this video so the biggest question which comes in our mind right now is about where actually are we going wrong and this problem can be divided into three parts the first part is the curriculum and faculty. Maximum colleges in India are following the still age old pattern which was prescribed 10 to 15 years back. You need to be experts in frameworks like Node.js, React.js which aren't the part of the syllabus of any engineering college in our nation and that is what is making the situation more pathetic. People are doing everything other than engineering after completing this four years course. When artificial intelligence is taking over the entire world, then how can you expect a good job or a handsome job by studying the 20 to 30 years old technologies? For that, let me give you an example. The technologies which you are studying in your college right now will be teaching you how to prepare a Nokia keypad phone which we were using during our childhood and after you complete your engineering, as soon as you complete your four years of engineering, what if I say to create an iPhone 14 Pro Max to you. So that is the reality and that is what is happening right now. Talking about the second problem, it's the industry. People from the industry tell that the engineers are not able to work upon what they have learned. Around, according to a study, around only two to four percent of the engineering students are applying whatever they have studied in their colleges while they are working. And about the remaining 96 to 98 percent so that is what we should be thinking of. Even industries will be forced to adopt new methods based on the growing technology which is happening outside. And students who are entering that particular companies for performing their jobs should be well versed with those techniques. But the fact that the techniques haven't been inculcated in the curriculum of the colleges isn't allowing them to get well versed with it. And this is what isn't satisfying the employers. Third important problem is the scope. For every 100 students who are completing their computer science engineering in India, only 4 students are knowing how to code and the remaining 96 students aren't even knowing about how to code. If we just extrapolate this same discussion into the total number of engineers who are graduating in India every year, then we will be understanding how much of a tragedy is happening in this engineering sector which is most important for the development of our nation and the fact that we aren't able to do anything about it makes it still pathetic guys and by understanding all the problems which are happening in india you should be careful while you choose your engineering college and that is the reason i have brought you an institute an engineering college or an institute in india which will teach you valuable skills and the required skills of this particular generation and the same way provide you with valuable experience during your engineering itself which enables you to be job ready which enables you to recover more than 70 percent of whatever fees you pay for that institute by the time you complete your engineering the no fee and the no job no fee guarantee makes this institute more interesting introducing function up institute of technology function up institute of technology is an institute which is built by IITNs which provides you a BTEC degree in computer science. But the way this institute provides you a computer science degree is a lot different from how the normal colleges or the traditional colleges provide you a degree and the fact that there will be an opportunity for you to recover more than 70% of fees you pay for this institute by the time you complete your four years of engineering makes it to be the top one priority while you are making the checklist for the colleges which you are going to join for computer science engineering in 2023 guys. This institute has been affiliated with the UGC so that it will be giving you a certified degree in BTEC. Rather than indulging students into subjects like physics and chemistry which computer science engineer don't have any applications really when they enter the job. Function of Institute of Technology focuses on things like coding and practical skills such as building apps and building real life projects and things like that in order to make them job ready. And from the second year itself, you will be having an opportunity to work as an intern by earning around more than 50,000 rupees per month, which is quite a big money. And through that itself, you can just recover the tuition fees or the amount of fees which you have paid for that particular institute. And now let us see what things they have inculcated differently in their curriculum or in their way of operation 
which has enabled them provide 100% placements in the last two years in a detailed manner. But just talking about the curriculum, the function of Institute of Technology has modified their curriculum in such a way that they make you job ready for the need of the hour by teaching you skills which are on demand right now rather than the things which were on demand back then which we are studying in our traditional engineering colleges right now. We are studying many things in our first year which won't have any application seriously when we enter the job market and that is one thing which I'll always be dreaming of a college which teaches you the current demand skills or the on-demand skills rather than teaching the conventional curriculum which is happening in many colleges right now and talking about the instructors when your instructors have worked at companies like Google, Meta and Microsoft and many top companies like that you may understand what kind of experience they will be having and in the same way they will be able to guide you in the best possible manner. We always talk of networking and we always talk about talking to people and having those kind of people in your network who have already worked at top companies like Google, Amazon and uh, Meta and all. But if your instructor, if your own instructor has that particular valuable experience of working over companies like that, then that is something which is highly valuable and that is one thing which I think stands out in them. And uh, then talking about the assignments which we get, yes, it is surely theoretical written assignments. And what if I tell you that even some codes, even some programs also are made to be written on a notebook. So that is something which is really, you know, I, I feel it very strange when that happens. And here in the Functional Institute of Technology, the assignments are given in the form of telling you to code around 50 plus apps and products which will make you job ready and which will teach you skills which are required now rather than things which were required back then. And then talking about the mentorship, here they ensure monthly one is to one sessions with industry experts which will keep you in line with the trends going on in the job market and in the same way and talking about the internships which they offer there. There is a compulsory paid internship for one year among your four years of engineering which you spend over there you will be provided with compulsory one year internship and then talking about the employability so this is one thing which stands out guys listen to me carefully this may blow your mind because I was surprised when I saw this particular statistic of this particular institute they will ensure you 100% placement once you complete your four years of engineering over there but the next thing is what makes it more interesting if you are someone who won't manage to get placed after your four years of engineering there they'll be ensuring you 100% refund of whatever fees you have paid for that particular institute. Once you come out of that particular institute, you will be in a position to work as a senior SDE, whereas people who come from the traditional college, from the traditional uh, curriculum, they'll be starting as the junior SDE. Uh, considering the fact that you'll also be getting an edge once you join the companies too, so this institute must be in your checklist once you are thinking about colleges which you can join in 2023 that too for computer science function of school of technology has provided more than 3000 job opportunities for their students in the last two years and having said that in order to get placed to companies such as google paytm razorpay and moto you need to have a highly uh, efficient skill set which this college has been uh, successful in inculcating into students who are studying over there and that is the reason why more than 800 companies have been hiring students from this particular institute and talking about the money it sums up it sums up to around 250 crores of salary created for function of graduates in the last two years this is huge guys talking about the NITs and the placement scenario of all the NITs combined in our India this is a notch higher than all of it so that tells you how good this institute is and the same way more than 2500 learners have been placed at top tech companies as I told you earlier and again talking about the highest salary it is 85 lakhs per annum so that is quite a dream for all the tech engineers when we join for our respective engineering and uh, in order to achieve that I think this college is the best place and talking about the average salary it ranges from around 12 LPA to 13 LPA which is quite quite good and quite quite high compared to all other institutes which are there in India currently funded. So talking about the average tuition fees which it consumes for four years it will be uh, they'll be charging you around 14 lakhs or 14.5 lakhs. Now this number may seem high and let me tell you that this is the average fees when you enter any private colleges in India. So then when we go through the earning potential over there, there will be an opportunity to get an internship which pays you around 25,000 per annum in your second year. 
and if you are someone who is skilled enough to get that particular thing then you will be able to reduce that uh, fees which you pay over there by around 2 lakhs and the same way in the third year of your engineering you will be able to get an opportunity to get an internship or being placed in an internship which will be paying you 50,000 as a stipend per month and again if you are someone who is having that skill set and if you are someone who are self motivated in order to upgrade your skill set each and every single day then you will be able to uh, reduce your fees or your total fees by around 3 lakh 50 thousand which is quite a big amount and again talking about your fourth year of engineering again there will be an opportunity for you to work as an intern and earn up to 4 lakh 50 thousand in that particular year and this earning potential sums up to around 10 lakhs and if you just subtract this 10 lakhs from that 14 lakhs 550,000 then I'm, then you can just see the number boiling down to 4 lakh 50,000 which is quite a reasonable cost. And the roadmap which is assigned to students over here is also quite interesting. The first year is meant to learn. So at this time students will be learning fundamentals of data structures and algorithms and in the same way uh, full stack web development and in the same way adding to that uh, shell front end and many other skills which they have to apply in the subsequent years to go for the next two years is there to gain experience you will have an opportunity to work as an intern in a good company or a multinational company wherein you will be learning a lot of things which any degree or any college doesn't teach you though those things which come from experience are really valuable guys and with that valuable experience once you enter your fourth year that fourth year is meant to specialize yourself in a particular field in a particular field which has a lot of demand like artificial intelligence machine learning or many things like that by following this particular roadmap i'm pretty sure that any student who gets into this institute will be job ready once he completes he or she completes his or her fourth year of engineering from there and in order to make your dream of becoming an entrepreneur into reality, they also have a startup incubation center of their own in which they'll be allowing you to interact with CTOs of major companies of India. And that is what will give you a real life experience of how this uh, workflow happens. And adding to that, as I told you earlier, they have managed to maintain that 100% placements uh, ratio since two years. And now it's time to think and take the right decision to spend your next four years because these four years are really important and they never come back in your life again. In order to know more about this particular institute and the program which it is offering, you can just click the link which I have already provided in the description guys and after going through the entire brochure over there, you will be getting to understand this particular institute in a multi-dimensional manner and if you have any kind of doubts, you can just put it over there so that they will be able to help you out. And in the end, let me tell you that this college should be in the top of your priorities list of the probable engineering colleges which you will be joining in 2023. With that note, this is Darshan Eskoda signing off and we are brothers together. Thank you guys. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video. Bye.